Well, the Topaz Labs juggernaut keeps on rolling on. Less than a month after releasing version 3.5, which added super focus in the cloud and introduced a just lighting version 2, this past March 28, Photo AI 3.6 was released with the second generation of super focus and adjust lighting improvements. So in this video, we're going to be running through the new features. At the end of the video, I'll let you know whether this is another big improvement for Photo AI. Let's start off with the improvements to adjust lighting. As a reminder, adjust lighting is Photo AI's feature designed to enhance the exposure and contrast of images via artificial intelligence. In my last video, I commented that version 2 did a much better job of producing a better exposed image while working better with RAW files compared to version 1. Unfortunately though, when it comes to adjusting tones, it's tough for automated processes like adjust lighting to get a result that suits everyone's taste. Well, in 3.6, Topaz has a solution add the capability to adjust highlights and shadows. To demonstrate, let's use adjust lighting to balance the tones in this raw file. I'll add the adjustment. There, the adjustment is done. And as you can see, while it did improve the tones, the adjustment is not at all adequate. Well, this would be all you could get in 3.5. Thankfully, in 3.6, this result can be further improved. I'll increase the shadows to reveal more detail. And there you go, a pretty competent adjustment. I'll reduce the highlights all the way to the minimum. Once again, a good result. Unfortunately though, the sky is still a bit too bright. No problem, I'll slightly reduce the exposure. And there you go, a more refined result that you could not get in the previous version. Here is the before and the after. Let's move on to another example, this time a JPEG file. The subject is looking a bit too dark. I'll once again add the adjustment. There, the processing is done. For some folks, this might be good enough. But what if I wanted to further brighten the subject? No problem, let's use the new sliders. I'll limit the selection to just the subject. I'll increase the shadows. And there you go, a brighter subject that makes it better stand out from the background. So as you can see, the new adjust lighting improvements make Photo AI a now more competent tool for basic raw editing. Only time will tell whether this will be further developed to a point where it will be good enough to replace your raw editor. The second new feature is the big one, and that is the next generation of Super Focus. If you've watched my previous Super Focus review, you would probably know that this tool would take 45 minutes to complete in my not so advanced system. While processing in the cloud is one solution, who really wants to pay Topaz extra money on top of its pricey perpetual license? Certainly not me. Well, with Super Focus version 2, you don't have to, as Topaz has made version 2 five times faster than the previous version. To demonstrate, let's sharpen this image. Zooming in, you can see how soft this image really is. I'll navigate to Super Focus. As this image is pretty soft, I'll set Focus Boost to Major. I'll accept the sharpening will apply to the entire image. I'll click the Render button. There, processing is done. So how long did it take? Incredibly, just 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And that was true for all the 6 megapixel images I've tried. By the way, another new thing in Photo AI is it will now try to get feedback on the quality of the render and you can choose to share your image to help Topaz improve its models. So here is the before and the after. As you can see, it is a big improvement. But that is not all. Another benefit of Super Focus version 2 is it includes an updated workflow that allows for more control over Super Focus's results, which you can adjust after the fact without needing to re-render 
which annoyingly you had to do in the previous version. To demonstrate, let's adjust the super focus settings. I'll click on super focus. I'll adjust the strength. And as you can see, the strength is adjusted in post. Another thing you can modify is the selection. I'll change the selection to subject. And just like that, sharpening is now applied to just the subject. Finally, let's make the result even sharper. I'll add a sharpening adjustment. Again, you couldn't do this step without re-rendering in the previous version. I'll set the model to strong. And there you go, an even sharper result. Here is the result with sharpening off and with sharpening on. As you can see, it is a nice improvement. Here is the result with super focus off and super focus on. As you can see, super focus really accounts for most of the improvement and is really the most innovative tool in this lot with sharpen just icing on the cake. In any case, it's still great that you can now further sharpen a super focus result with sharpening. So there you go. Those were the two improvements in the latest Photo AI 3.6. Is it a big improvement? Definitely yes. With Super Focus version 2, there are now no more limits. You can now sharpen and deblur to your heart's delight for free. I'll be definitely using this to sharpen my boatload of blurred photos. Adjust lighting is also a nice improvement, which brings Photo AI closer to being a replacement for raw editing. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of the new updates. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.